everybody it's Angela back again how are you all doing so lovely of you to join me again today I hope you've all been well um I have been inundated with loads of messages and requests for me to show you how I put together this journal so what I thought I would do today is show you how I used all the envelopes to construct the base of this journal and what I will be asking you to comment on um, because I'm not sure how far you want me to go down the track with this, is do you want me to show you how I decorated it? I do have a couple of videos for various of, um, parts of the components, but perhaps you want me to show you other bits, you can let me know um, in the comments. So I will put a comment below in the um, comment section, and if you want to see me decorate the complete journal, then please let me know there. All right, so let's get on with it. So you'll remember, I have got a full flip through of this, but you will remember that um, I use um, quite a few envelopes in here. And I'm going to show you how I put all of these bits together today um, and we can go from there. So let's just put that to the side for a moment. Now the very first thing that I'm gonna go through are the actual envelopes that you'll need for this project. So I have tried to measure them so that I can let you know. So the first one, you're gonna need two of these little coin sized envelopes and mine are 10 centimeters by seven and a half or if you're working in inches, it's four by three inches. So you're gonna need two of those doesn't matter what color or if you're going to make them up but that's the first thing you're going to need um i've got one cd envelope the standard cd size so you're going to need one of those um and then as far as these envelopes are concerned it's the standard uh flap this kind of flap i don't know what it's called but you're going to need four of this size envelope this is a six and a half by uh, four and a half inch or 11 and a half by 16.2 centimeters. So you will want four of those. <laughs> Trying to shingle them to show you. So there we go, four. All right, so that's that. Um, as far as these mailer types are concerned, um, you'll need them to be uh, have the flap on. So hopefully if you've managed to salvage them from your mailer, mail, then that's great. But you'll need this flap. Um, so you'll need, these are the same, they're just slightly different colours. You'll need two of these, um, eight and 8.75 by 4.25 inches or 22 by 11 centimetres. So two of those window envelopes. So that's that. And then the actual base, very bit main structure um, you're going to need five of the nine by 6.25 inches, or if you're wanting it in centimeters, it's 22.8 times 16.2 centimeters. Right, so we've got our five envelopes. And the first thing that I want to do is actually run some masking tape on the end of these. So I've got my masking tape. It's about an inch wide. And I just want to run some of it along um just the inside of that flap there along the fold line so um, just to strengthen the actual fold so we've got that over there I'm not really worried about um, going to the ends on every single one but just make sure that you do fold each envelope as you do this so I'm going to do one there Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to just make sure that our edge is nice and burnished. So just run your bone folder over each one of the folds again. Like that. Okay, so you've done that with all five. 
Okay, now what we want to do is we want to fit these together. So take two at a time to start and we're going to just interleave these like this. Okay, so make sure that when you do that, that they fit right against each other like that. So they're buffed up against the front. And then take your back uh, flap and just run some glue over it like that. And then we can fold it over and stick that down. Okay, so there's the first one done. Okay, now on that side, we won't have that will be our front. Okay, so we've done the first one. There we go. Now you take the next one, same thing. Choose one of the sides. So let's go this side first. And just slide your flap in again. Make sure you match it to the top and the bottom. Uh, make sure that you match it to the corners over here. And once you've done that, um, I would clip it. So use a little peg. Make sure it's not going to move. So I'll just get this one here. Little pegs. I need another peg. Um, I'll use one of these. I just don't want them to be uneven, so that's why I'm doing that. And then that's perfect for me just to run some glue underneath here. And of course, right to the edge as far as I can. And then I can run my burn folder over again, just to make sure that that's all perfect like that. Okay, all right, so that shouldn't have moved now and this one should be stuck down really nicely and it's pretty perfect, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so now what we want to do is put in another one. So we've got this one here, we're going to do the same thing, lift up the flap just to get that one in there and... this one over here slide it in like that make sure you, it matches on this side now so I just want to make sure that these are matched and on this side so I'll just put that there like that then I can turn it around and again Put in your glue. Make sure you run it close to the edge again. There we go. Use your bone folder. Make sure that's nice and flat. Like that. Okay, so now when you do that way, you've got everything coming together when you it is a bit fiddly and flappy and whatever <laughs> but it all comes together in the end so let's see how we're going and what have i done that it's not lying correctly here okay so that's all good oh i didn't give it a chance to dry properly i don't think Right, and then this one needs to go a little bit more over there like that. Okay, rushing it. I'm rushing it. Okay. Okay, that's looking good so far. And then we've just got one more to go in and we can put it in on this side here. Okay, same procedure. Lift your flap. And tuck 
that in there and tuck that in there. Okay, just to match it up again. So, okay, so that's there. And this is here. That's it. And then we'll turn that around. And again, make sure you get lots of glue in there. Okay, so this then will form the base of your structure. That's the absolute base. Right, now we should really give it a few minutes before I start bending it and <laughs> trying to make it line up. The moment of truth. Okay, so hopefully I have got this right. Let's have fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, um, I'm going to just talk you through some of the other things that we need to do. Now let's take um, this envelope here and we're going to disassemble it. So I'm just taking my bone folder and I am running, opening up that side and the same over here. Just do it gently. Okay, so we've got that open like that. A little bit higher. Turn it round so I can match up my... There we go, that's it. That's the biscuit. There we go, just like that. So I'm going to run that across the bottom. Like that. And... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this in, the end, and then I'm going to make it seal. And then these match there, that matches there. That's going to be the flat line. And that's how I'm going to fix it. And then I'm going to turn this over like that. So I hope that all makes sense to you. Now, I do have... Um, a video on how I do this I'm sure but this is what how I've just changed the envelope and wrapped it around the other way okay so that is what we're going to do with one of them this one we're going to use pretty much as it is and that will end up going at the very back here so once I've put on my other layers of paper I'll sandwich that on the back and that will be a flip out over there um, and as you know, of course, I do um, put paper on the front and on the back. But I won't attach that yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my um, paper clips for some of my envelopes so that I know where they're going to go. Because it's a lot easier to get this particular envelope ready before you stick it into your actual album, your journal. So... All I know is that I want it over here. So until I've decided on the paper that I'm going to use for this, these two pages, I'm going to just stick it there so I know that's where that one's going to go. All right, so let's move further forward now. Let's just make sure that that one's all right. So that's good. I'm just checking all the pages are as I want them. So this one is going to go over here like that. And we're going to just make sure it's lying nice and flat, which it is. And then the next one, like that. Okay, so we've got one. We've got our inside cover. We've got, we're going to cover this up. We're going to cover all these pages up. We've got another one there. It's lying perfectly neat. We've got another one here. Here, and that's our back cover. Okay, so you should have... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's all of that. Let me just see. Oh, I've got it on the wrong side. Doesn't really matter. So we'll leave it there. Okay. Now, um, so I've shown you how to do that bit over there. The next bit that I'm going to show you um, 
will not be that bit we're going to do this bit so let me just show you over here right so I've got the back bit so this is on page two so this one over here is fine and this one that we've just folded is going to go um, just on the opposite page over here so let's just see that Okay, so the way that I'm going to attach it is underneath here like that. This will get a piece of paper on top of it and then that will be able to um, fold out and flip over like that. So for purposes for the moment, I'm going to move it down a bit, although that's not where I'm going to fix it, but I need to just put this on here so I know it goes on that side. So that's going there. These, It's just... <laughs> Quite confusing and then on this section over here I just took one of my envelopes um, and I am going to let me just show you sorry this is this envelope here which you make a little decorate up and it's got a tag and everything over there so you need an envelope to go over here um, and your others on the other side so let's just put that back so you've got an envelope that's going to flap out over here. So you want to just attach it this side. Then we have a, a little strip that goes underneath and that's fine. We get to that when we decorate. On this side, you've got quite a few things going on. So you want to get your CD envelope and the two little coin envelopes. All right, so your CD envelope is going to go down the bottom over here and again you're going to um, decorate this up first and then attach it there and then put a piece of paper over so this effectively will go on this side over here like that um, and before you do that um, these two coin envelopes will be decorated um, and those little flaps are going to go over there and over there like that and that would go be stuck down before you put this big piece of paper over that as well but again you're going to decorate these before you do that so again I'm going to take these two and put them over here so that I know this is where I want them Okay, so this is how I do the planning so I know where everything is to go. All right, so that goes over there like that. Right, now we turn over. Um, and what I had here was just a really big pocket of card. So I got a piece of card that I um, will show you that fits in over there. Um, so I first cover up this area, fit the card so we don't need an envelope there. Right, and then what we did uh, was exactly the same over here. So again, piece of card and you're making a pocket. So these are the pocket pages, so I leave them bare. Then I come to the back page again, and on this side we're going to cover that up like that. Um, and I'll put some... Um, paper underneath and it marries up so over here you've got this piece like this and you've got the opening like that and then we made a trifold which I have a video on on how to do that and that slides into that compartment there like that so that's where three more envelopes go so we will put those together so you've got your last three envelopes here these fold together according to that little tutorial like that and those slide in so we'll just put a little thingy like that and that will go in that section over there and then that's your back page all right so we've got the structure of everything pretty much together here um I'm quite happy with that um, and then all that needs to happen is at the very end you take about five sheets of tea stained paper fold them in half 
and you are going to put them in three different places. So the first one is going to go in here. And then the next one goes not on this one. It goes on this one here. And then the very last one goes at the back. Okay. So that's how we make this booklet. I hope that makes sense. Um, now what I'm going to do is, um, I have had a couple of people ask me for a couple of my own digitals. So this is one of my own digitals, this one here. Um, well, that is my doily kits anyway. These are uh, ruby and pearl, and I will put the links out for you again. But even on here, I have got, um, this is Jackie. Um, Jackie's digital but this over at the back here this this is another one of my digital so I will probably put if you want me to you can say um, I will probably put a small little digital page on my Etsy if you're keen with a couple of the little bits that I have used in here so some of my own which work really well with uh, the digitals that I have in this kit um, from Ruby and Pearl all right, so you can have a look out for those as well. So I really um, loved putting this together. I, this is a tutorial that I have already, so you know how to do this. Um, and I love this. This is just gorgeous. And then um, I've got a couple of bits. You've seen me make that in a tutorial, so I'll put that tutorial on. If you want to, me to show you how I've decorated the rest of this, as I say, just let me know. This is a tutorial, and I will put the link down for that as well. Um, so that's there. Um, this isn't a tutorial, so I can add that in when we're decorating. Um, and then you've seen me make this as well. So they're just, um, this isn't a tutorial. I can show you. That's easy enough. So, yeah, this is another one of my digitals as well. And I love the colours. They go beautifully with this. So, um, some ephemera that I bought a while back. Okay, and I love using the, the aqua shades of that. Okay, so let me know what you think. As I say, this is the booklet that we will be working on. Um, if you'd like me to show you how I've put it together in this format with the decorations, then please... Um, leave that in the comments I'm going to try and put a comment myself so that you can just tick it with a thumbs up on the comment asking if you're wanting me to decorate it further all right so please have a look out for that and if not then just leave it in a comment yourself so that's wonderful I hope you've enjoyed that it wasn't an overly long um, video today um, but yeah, I, it's been uh, requested um, numerous times, so I um, thought I'd show you the bones of this journal. All right, so thank you, everybody. Thank you ever so much. I look forward to hearing from you to see whether you want um, this decorated. And, of course, if you want me to put a little kit into the my Etsy stop, shop on the other images that I used within here. So have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you again on Saturday. Um, so stay well, and goodbye.